We take a look into a kind of secret society, baby boomers ready to do whatever it takes to stay young. Since 2006, prescriptions of testosterone have doubled since 2006, and they're expected to triple again in the next five years. ABC's Neil Karlinski tells us who is doing this and at what risk. They are a mountain of aging boomers. I got my mojo back. I think every guy over 50 should be doing it. Putting their younger, ambitious co-workers on notice. They plan to keep winning in the boardroom, in the bedroom, everywhere. I mean, honestly, I like looking at myself in the mirror because I look frickin' awesome. He says the secret is testosterone, which 57-year-old CEO Chris Running showed us as if it was no different than a glass of orange juice. So that's it, twice a week? Yeah. You know, our generation is trying to stay as young as we can for as long as we can. You can see it in those ads appealing to the 70 million boomer men unwilling to fade quietly into old age. You might have a treatable condition called low testosterone or low T. A boost of testosterone, long the illegal drug of choice in sports, is being touted by some as a virtual fountain of youth and just a prescription away. I've gone from a 38 waist relaxed fit gene to a 34 slim fit gene, which I never in a million years thought I could get my one leg in one of them. In the three years he's been taking tea, Chris says he has transformed himself into a younger man. Two hours more work per day, 30 pounds of fat gone, and muscles, bulging muscles, more impressive than anything he had in his 20s. Do you notice the physical change too? I mean, he talks about 30 pounds. And yes, muscle. absolutely. I and mean, he looks great. He's, he's in great shape. We wondered, can it really be that simple? Dr. Karen Power says yes. And I hear a lot of men come in and they talk about the young guys coming in that and they feel the challenge. Is that okay or is that cheating? If your levels are low and I bring you back to a normal level or an optimal level, then aren't I just, you know, leveling the playing field? So what is normal for what age? The average 20-year-old's testosterone levels can reach as high as 1,080. But as you age, the levels drop without drugs. By age 60, the average high is only 720. So is it right to pump up testosterone to the levels of a much younger man, a level that in many cases more than doubles a man's testosterone? Not so fast, says Dr. Edmund Sabani, an expert in testosterone at the prestigious Cleveland Clinic. He's worried about the wave of boomer men using tea to stay artificially young. Right now, we don't have guidance in the medical research that suggests it's safe to stay at those levels. And there are serious possible side effects of too much testosterone, blood clots, liver damage, and some doctors are concerned about its impact on prostate cancer. The New England Journal of Medicine warns that only about 2% of men over 40 should be getting any boost at all. Chris Running and the growing number of boomers just like him aren't worried. The bottom line, I mean, you're sold. I'm absolutely so. I'll, I'll, I will never not do this. Risky or not, he says slowing down so the next generation can move up is not an option. Neil Karlinski, ABC News, San Luis Obispo, California.